Hello everyone, Kubikovsky speaking. Welcome to the second video in English on my channel. Hopefully one day my channel will be big enough I could hire some goblin helpers to prepare subtitles for all my reviews in Polish so you all could understand me completely. But until then I just publish from time to time English reviews of carefully selected models. This time it's a review of Kobe M3 half track, one of many new additions to their fascinating collection of military vehicles from World War II. Okay, let's roll. Just a couple of words about the box. It's very nice, big, stiff, with a very nice glossy print on it. I personally like it so much, uh, so I usually put put it on display somewhere in my room, on a shelf or somewhere, uh, just for some time because it's it's so nice. On the front we can see um, a situation. This could be somewhere on the Western Front in Europe. We can see some um, um, paratroopers on the on on the back. And on the front, of course, there is uh, our M3 half-truck vehicle. This is Armored Personal Carrier. Uh, very famous, very popular. Uh, okay. So on the box, of course, we have a Kobe, a Kobe logo. We have uh, small army tags. Uh, World War II uh, sub sub series or sub theme. Uh, logo. This is a set from the newest uh, line of products. You can s you, we can tell it by the uh, distinctive yellow stripe on the bottom of the box. It basically means the, uh, that the minifigs are completely transformed. Uh, they no longer they no longer have elements similar to to Lego um, Lego minifigs. Everything is, you know, completely modified. I personally like it a lot. We'll take a closer look later on. On the back, we can see more detailed pictures of uh, of features uh, of the model, some historical info about uh, real uh, M3 half track, historical picture, and a notes. Simple notes about um, true war, uh, Second World War arms that are included in the box. This set is of course made in Poland, currently in European Union. Let's take a look at the instruction booklet. It is uh, big, it is of course readable and uh, clear very detailed. It uses, um, it uses a system specific to Kobe where in, uh, in a step all elements that were used previously are grayed out and in color we can see only elements that, uh, that we um, put together in the step. So the list of elements needed and uh, places where we need them. Okay, I have to tell you that this is probably the most advanced uh, construction from Kobe uh, until now, because you know they uses many advanced uh, techniques like uh, T-shaped elements, hinges to reflect sloped uh, surfaces, some, you know, inverted elements, upside down building. It, it Sometimes it reminds me of, of constructions um, prepared by independent uh, mock builders. It's, uh, you know, sometimes it is just mind-blowing. I, I like it. It's it's very it's it's very very good and you have to check it out, of course. But uh, because of that, 
I think that the the youngest uh, from the uh, from the target um, range of six and up will not be able to to make it alone. So this is a very good toy for the little guy and his father. Let's take a closer look at minifigs. I think this one is a driver and it and he is very self-confident as we can tell by by the look of his face. His standard equipment according to the box is Thompson submachine gun and big knife or machete. <laughs> it's a joke, of course, it's a knife, but it could be uh, recreate items um, bigger than it should be in hands of uh, minifix. But um, in fact, I like it. It's uh, it's a it's like cartoon style. It's good for uh, for kids, of course. There is no print on the back. All right. Uh, the knife is put in his mm, special accessory belt that we put between torso and legs. I'm not sure what kind of uniform is that, but th this could be a kind of blouse or sweater. I'm I'm not sure. And now I put a very nice revolver in his hand. This is the second and final minifig in in this set. Um, I guess this is U.S. infantryman. And I like him a lot. Now he has um, some pouches and bags uh, put in him. We can we can say this is a backpack or something like this, something like that. And very nice <clears throat> historical rifle in his hand. Well, on the box, uh, there, there, there is a note that this is M1 Garand rifle, but I'm not sure if uh, this particular model, as we can see here, uh, this is a standard rifle for all, um, uh, currently, for all minifigs in, in this series. Sometimes they write on the box that this is Car 98, uh, but you know, let let's just um, wait and uh, verify it. But currently, I I think so. This is how he looks uh, without the pouches. And one more thing, um, the helmet is not the same like the other guy because uh, this one has uh, some kind of net net on. on just something like that on the on the top. No printing on the back or on arms. But uh, as we know, uh, Kobe is about to launch new three packs of uh, um, World War Two series uh, soldiers. And many of them will have uh, some printing on arms or on helmets. This is the whole arsenal of weapons in this set. I like it a lot. We get this uh, amazing uh, Tommy gun. Very good rifle. At last, we have some, uh, some you, know, you know, very distinctive uh, weapons from from World War Two. Some general things like uh, knife, binoculars, hand grenade, uh, very nice revolver. And this is uh, only element uh, which is not good, that, that is this, this pistol. 
you have to be careful because this is a pistol of older type it has um, it has a bigger grip which could damage uh, new minifix hands well you have to know that these elements are not perfectly compatible with Lego because it uses a bit smaller diameter I mean uh, these elements and uh, new minifix hands well <laughs> this pistol is not entirely entirely useless because it fits it exactly um, it, it fits very well in in the hands of uh, Lego for example policeman but wh when you try to, to put put it in a minifix a new Kobe minifix hands uh, one of the fingers could easily break so you have to be careful because their uh, this hand is um, is pr prone to damage I have to tell you it's prone to damage because uh, one one of these fingers is thinner so you, you have to be careful when you try to put Lego Lego elements uh, into these uh, these hands it's complicated but I think I, I managed to to you know to transfer the message you have to be careful you know these elements have little smaller diameter to the point first I will do overall quick 360 degrees view then I will focus on some interesting details and features and finally I will rate the set and highlight most important pros and cons okay generally I think that the model looks amazing and what is most important it is very similar to actual M3 half track and I think that anyone who knows uh, World War II vehicles a bit anyone will say that this is this is the model no question about it we can see some you know many interesting details on the track doors open pickaxe on this side and some you know accessory case truck section very sturdy and we'll focus on on it later on rear doors open and there is there is a lot of space for for soldiers we also have uh, have a crate uh, or a box on board fuel can and very very nice looking American white star uh, this is a print no stickers in this set that's good of course for me on top we have very nice uh, browning 50 caliber browning it's it's a bit it's a bit too big and, but you know that's good for kids that uh, this these models are you know bigger and it's easier to play all right now I will focus on, on some details I will start with a uh, truck section because Kobe uh, introduced in this model uh, together with um, Schutzenpanzerwagen 251 um, this is a um, new introduced new kind of trucks uh, these trucks are thinner um, it it has 
uh, two studs width very, very nice it, it will be now it will be easier to to create uh, more realistic uh, tank models especially uh, light and medium tanks because previous good and old uh, Kobe trucks was uh, are still amazing but only if we build heavy big tanks because these uh, these trucks have uh, three studs width okay so also uh, these uh, drive uh, elements are drive wheels are also new there's a positive drive so it it has uh, teeth 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 god damn it okay very nice i i mm, it doesn't it doesn't roll on my desk because it's very very flat but i i'm telling you that it rolls very very nice on any surface that that gives some friction okay shovel very nice you can open uh, the doors and see um, uh, driver compartment there is a steering wheel but you have to be careful because well <laughs> this wheel needs to be mo modified a bit if you if you if you want to make it right because uh, there is a problem you know this uh, this wheel was not designed to be to be put like this so you have to use a tape to make it fit better or if you if you do it like like it is in instruction booklet you can break the the, the catch well this is difficult but uh, i told it in in polish reviews of uh, flak 88 and m30 how it's there mm. sometimes in poland we we can't do things in simple way you know it's, you, you sometimes you just have to have to do some modifications on, on your own you have to fight with problem a bit but you know this is not a big thing you know it's okay in front we have very nice representation of a winch N no uh, no string on it but it doesn't matter it looks nice okay and the, f the front of, of this vehicle is is amazing you know as, as I said uh, the design of this model is is very complex and almost insane but uh, but that's good of course we have many hinges here in this section uh, so that it, it looks so that the model looks quite quite realistic Oops, dump. very nice windshield is in fact uh, big transparent uh, tiles with a print on it with green print on it so it, you know that, that was very clever it looks uh, very nice I think okay drive section um, and truck section very nice I love I love these these new new trucks and I will maybe I will make a separate separate video ab about uh, these trucks because I think it's a uh, you know that's a big thing now it will be much easier to produce a very very nice look, good looking uh, good looking uh, tank sets tank models one one question Mm, one thing is here I think that these um, these elements these bricks should be translucent red but these are you know solid red it's it's not it's not a bad thing but you know it's kind of weird all right as I said a lot of space here very nice uh, very good looking, uh, uh, very uh, nice, good looking gun. 
and this uh, ammo belt is elastic you can also put it out and build a build a ammo ammo um, cartridge and put it in here once again amazing amazing design i think the the only problem with with this with this truck is that it is too big generally next to minifix because you know a tall man should reach somewhere like somewhere here so as you can see it's 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 too big one of the most important things for me is that uh, this model combines a realistic look with playability you can you can see many you know many um, mocks uh, many mock designs uh, on on the internet uh, you know people design amazing uh, trucks uh, uh, from lego bricks however you know an, an improper scale you know, smaller but these trucks are very fragile this toy is ready for some serious actions you know kids could could really play with it and there is uh, you know this is very good yeah and if you are a serious serious uh, mocker you can uh, mock designer you can still modify it it's uh, many many interesting parts here oh and i want to show you also uh, some of the you know, most or all the spare parts combined in this set I have a problem because in my previous review of of the panther tank I said that the panther is now the the best Kobe set for me ever <laughs> and now I I opened and tested this M3 half truck and I have very similar feelings and so maybe let's let's uh, let's say something like that Panther tank is is the best Kobe tank okay and this M3 half truck is the best vehicle all right so th this could be uh, if I if I had to have to had to choose between half truck and panther, I would probably choose panther tank because I generally like um, tanks. But in in this model we get we get these amazing trucks. So now I want to collect um, many many uh, you know these um, there's uh, links for these trucks. Because I want to build, you know, bigger tanks, so I also plan to to, to purchase Schützenpanzerwagen 251, the German half truck, and then I will be able to to make some some interesting models. So I want to summarize that this is a high quality product. The quality is just slightly lower than Lego, as I said previously, just some minor imperfections like tiny scratches or small points where plastic was injected into mold you know nothing serious no no clutching problems uh, that's all it's, it's almost it's almost perfect but i like to say to be to be 100 percent honest with you that that um, quality seems to be just a little lower than lego okay so that but but also the prices uh, especially in Europe okay and, and in Poland the price is lower than Lego so it's it's a, that's a good deal very good design this, this is very important but the most important for me is that it's sturdy it's super sturdy my general score is 10 out of 10 a, a must-have okay and no question about it 
you just have to check these trucks you have to build this insane you know design it's you know it's amazing thank you for watching and stay tuned for another reviews in english take care bye And on the top, there is main main gun. This is a representation of uh, 50 caliber uh, M2 Browning, if I'm not wrong. No, th this model is amazing, but uh, of course it's it's a bit too big. No, the the whole truck is too big, and plus this this gun is also too big. But it's it's good uh, for kids. For for example, it's easier to to play with it and it's more more sturdy.